Imagine setting up an app on your computer that quietly runs in the background and little by little makes you passive income while you sleep. Well, that's exactly what you can do with blockchain. There's so many ways to do this, but one way is to run blockchain nodes. And I recently found somebody who made $200,000 in a single day by running a blockchain node. Let me repeat that. $200,000 in a single day. And in this video, I'm gonna break down how they did that and some different opportunities on how to make passive income with blockchain nodes. I'm gonna talk about all this as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you wanna get a massive edge on exactly what I'm talking about in this video today, then I can share to become a blockchain master over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about this individual who made $200,000 in a single day in passive income by running a blockchain node. So how exactly did they do this? Well, they did it by running a Bitcoin miner. So what is that? Well, Bitcoin is a blockchain network that's responsible for running the Bitcoin cryptocurrency. It keeps track of how many people own Bitcoins and how much. And it facilitates the transfer of Bitcoins between different users whenever they want to spend their Bitcoins. And whenever this happens, a group of computers in the network called miners compete to solve cryptographic puzzles for each block that gets produced. And this lucky developer was chosen to produce this block uh, whose reward was $200,000. Absolutely insane. Now, you have to understand that, you know, not all Bitcoin blocks have the same amount of reward. They can go up and down. There will be some type of average return for all of them. But this particular person hit the jackpot and was rewarded 200 k for this set of transactions. So... Not too bad for a day's work. I mean, can you believe that? You know, what if you had done something like this? I mean, I wish that I was this particular miner in this case. Now, I'll say this. This obviously is not a typical scenario. It's kind of like winning the lottery if you're running a Bitcoin miner. But there's lots of different opportunities to make passive income with blockchain nodes. And that's what I'm going to talk about here in a second. But first, let's get something out of the way. What exactly are nodes? Because it can mean a couple different things depending on what you're talking about. Well, pretty much all blockchain networks or decentralized systems use nodes in some way. They're basically just computers that run the software for that particular network or system, and it, it's redundant. So a bunch of different computers all run the same software so that it can achieve consensus because that's what's crucial for these networks or systems. That's what makes them decentralized. So this will fall into a few different categories based upon how you'll make money. And I'll talk about that in each section, but basically it's gonna fall into three different categories. Blockchain networks, okay, Oracle services, or restaking services. And for the rest of this video, I'm gonna talk about different ways to make passive income with each of these. All right, so way number one is to run a blockchain node on a brand new blockchain network as opposed to one that's been established and running for a very long time because the opportunity for established networks is typically going to be less because everybody knows about it just kind of like the lottery ticket we saw at the bitcoin miner but when new networks pop up there's always an insane number of opportunities because they need to incentivize people to help these networks take off in the past we've seen huge opportunities like on Avalanche, when it first got started, you know, running a node for the test net in 2020, got $300,000 at peak. On Celestia, about $100,000. Moonbeam was $80,000 at the peak. And Solana even got $150,000. So all these networks are running and established now. But the name of the game is to get in on new projects. And so how can you get paid to do this? Well, there's several different ways. But the main strategy is to basically run one of these nodes while it's in its test net phase, okay? So what does that mean? So let's say a new blockchain network is coming out. They're going to get all their software, their community together, and they're going to run in a testnet phase where the cryptocurrency is not worth anything, but they're going to test it out, make sure the blockchain works properly, that you can actually use applications on it. And whenever that feels ready, they're going to launch at mainnet with a real cryptocurrency whose price is actually worth something that can retroactively pay people who run the test net. So these are called incentivized test nets. So anybody can go on and start using this stuff. They'll incentivize end users who are making transactions, but they'll also heavily incentivize people who are going to run the infrastructure or the nodes on these networks. And so one major strategy is to basically find one of these networks, 
start running their validator software and you're not going to get paid really anything while you're in the test network phase. But whenever you convert over to the mainnet, that's when you can get paid a few different ways. OK, so way number one is that if you prove yourself to be a worthy validator during the test net phase, you could be selected to become a validator on the mainnet whenever it goes live. And then you can start earning passive income in the cryptocurrency that way. I've seen projects where they'll just retroactively pay test net validators, even if they don't continue to go on to be validators on the mainnet net for their time during the test net when they have new cryptocurrency at launch the main network. You can do this through airdrops. Okay. So basically there's lots of airdrop projects who incentivize validators in the networks that if you did that during that time, you get eligible for an airdrop whenever the main net goes live. There's lots of different ways to do it. But the whole point is you're sort of banking on a future payday rather than getting the passive income now, but you could convert that into a passive income stream if you're actually running the validator whenever the chain goes live. So how can you find these opportunities? Okay. So you can go to nodes.guru. All right, you can see a list of different validator testnet portals and dApps. This is going to give you an edge to find new projects that are in the test network phase that aren't live. So they've got different A nets that are validating, but you can also click on the test nets tab. All right, to see different networks. All right, so click on the test network aggregator. You see different active networks, but also the upcoming. All right, and this is going to give you a pretty good list of projects to start looking at and evaluating for yourself for future opportunities. All right, so way number two is with staking pools. So what are those? Well, let's look at this. So go back to our uh, network chart right here, different blockchain nodes that are talking to one another. Sometimes, you know, running a node like this requires you to stake cryptocurrency in order to run it. So like in the case of Ethereum, you need 32 Ether to run a validator and stake it. At the time of recording this video, 32 Ether is a lot of money and cost prohibitive for a lot of people. And that's where projects like Rocket Pool come into play. So basically you can run a validator for an Ethereum node with much less ether than what's required. So you don't even need 32 ether, you need a fraction of that amount. It's changing all the time and they're lowering the barrier of entry to do this to where you basically create a node, but then a pool where other people can stake their cryptocurrency, they can pool it together to sum up to 32 ether so that, that validator can actually work, okay? And what you're doing, what you can do as a developer with Rocket Pool is you can run a Rocket Pool node, all right, and let other people stake with you. And you can get a cut of the passive income for doing this. And you can also earn Rocket Pool tokens, which are created by the protocol to incentivize you as a community member who's running one of these nodes so you can make passive income with multiple different cryptocurrencies this way. And if you want to get started on something like this, what can you do? We can go to rocketpool.net. All right, you can look at node staking and see what you can actually earn. You can sort of play around with the amount of cryptocurrency you're staking to see what the returns can be. But then finally, you can see how to get started with this strategy by going to documents and guides and follow these steps to set up your rocket pool nodes today. All right, so the final way to make passive income by running a network node is by basically running a blockchain node on an established network. So that's exactly what this person did who made, you know, $200,000 in a single block or single day, okay, with Bitcoin. Um, so you can do things like run a Bitcoin miner, uh, or you can do something like run an Ethereum validator. So I talked about, you know, Rocket Pool before. The whole idea there is that you can run a nodes where you can stake with less Ether. But if you want to stake natively on the Ethereum network, you can run an Ethereum validator directly on the network. So basically, you will be a computer that's staking Ether. All right. So what are some advantages of this? Well, you can earn a competitive APR, especially if you turn on all the boost features that will be more than this APR, most likely on average. But what will you need in order to do this? Obviously, you'll need to run the client software for an Ethereum validator, but you will need 32 Ether in order to do this. And like I said at the beginning of this video, you know, that's going to be cost prohibitive for most people for this strategy. But if you do happen to have 32 Ether laying around where you want to acquire it for this particular strategy, then that is one way to make passive income with something that's with a crypto assets you may want to hold for the long term. Again, not financial advice. I'm just saying if that's what you want to do. And so with any of these strategies, you know, what do you need in order to get started? There's a couple different options. So no matter what, you're going to need to run something on a computer. OK, so you either need to have access to a computer you know, in your home or wherever you live or wherever you work, okay, that can run 24 seven. And you can either build that computer, you can buy certain boxes that let you do that. But most people are probably not going to go down that strategy because, you know, you have to make sure that computer has 100% or near 100% uptime. A popular strategy is to use a VPS. So what is that? 
So a VPS is basically just a computer that runs in the cloud. Somebody else is running the infrastructure. You're just renting it and you're installing software on it that can run, you know, 24 seven that you can sort of remotely log into, set up and maintain. There's lots of different options out there like, you know, Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Compute, but Contabo has got a pretty good business model. You can just Google Contabo to see this. This is not like an advertisement or a, a affiliate link or something like that. Just an option from people that I've seen that have used this in the past. And obviously you're gonna need some technical knowledge to get this set up, all right? But that's what I'm here for on this channel. My whole goal is to give you technical skills so that you can take advantage of these types of opportunities in the blockchain. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to gain the technical skills that you need in order to take action on these types of opportunities and capitalize on all the insane things that are happening in the crypto space right now, I can show you how to become a blockchain developer step-by-step start to finish over at adaptiveversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I thought people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Adaptiveversity.